Hello, I'm Keetron Evans, cybersecurity expert and principal security researcher here at InfoSec. October is Cybersecurity Awareness Month, and these days protecting your data is more important than ever. This year saw a record number of serious phishing and ransomware attacks. Several made national news and may have impacted you personally. But how did these attacks happen? What made them so successful? And what can you do to stop this from happening to you or your organization? Let's talk about getting you on the road to cybersecurity. When it comes to cybersecurity, there are many wrong turns you can take. First, let's look at a few examples of where things went wrong in 2021. Security is not a game, but plenty of attackers still play to win. A group of hackers use social engineering techniques to steal valuable information from game publisher Electronic Arts. They convinced an IT support representative via Slack that they had lost their 2FA authentication token which was tied to a mobile phone and required to gain remote access to the internal corporate EA network. Support is to the new one, and the hackers were let loose inside EA systems. Sounds like they won this round. One of the biggest hack stories of the year paralyzed several areas, caused a US president to declare a state of emergency, and led to widespread panic about a new energy crisis. It was also the result of a single stolen password. In early May 2021, the Colonial Pipeline Company was hit by a ransomware attack. The pipeline was out of commission for six days. Ultimately, the Colonial Pipeline Company paid more than $4 million to restore service. How did this happen? The company was using a virtual private network that could be accessed with a single password. Without multi-factor authentication, a single strong password wasn't strong enough. Hackers use many techniques to access their target systems. However, a few simple behaviors will stop most hacking attempts dead in their tracks. First, go slow. Attackers want you to act fast and not think twice. When they force you to rush, they force you to make bad choices. By slowing down, you have the time to think carefully and spot the dangers. Second, be suspicious. Messages that look completely harmless could come from someone impersonating a friend or a family member. Always think about the ways something could be used as a trap. You don't have to hide from the world, but by going slow and being suspicious, you protect yourself and your organization. In the EA hack, the attackers got access by convincing tech support to issue an authentication token. If that tech had been a little more suspicious, a major security breach could have been avoided. Third, verify. It may be difficult to tell a real message from a fake one. If you receive an unusual request or a message that asks you to violate procedure, reach out to the sender via an alternate channel to confirm that they sent it. Fourth, report it. Cybersecurity problems often start small and spread fast. If you see something suspicious or just a little weird, don't ignore it. Check your organizational policy to see who you should speak to. Fifth, follow policies and procedures. Your organization knows the risk and is always planning ahead. Take a moment to review any updated policies and procedures and make sure you know what to do in case of an emergency or a data breach. As you can see, there's a lot to consider when you're dealing with cybersecurity. Hackers are relentless and the number of attacks is increasing. By following a few simple rules, paying attention to warning signs, and using your common sense, you can keep yourself and your organization safe. Mm -hmm.